What's up everyone? Welcome to Buzzy Games. Buzzy Games Beth here. Today let's learn how to make a, an animated frame when we're teleporting. It's just like a little transition screen. So inside of, of replicated storage, I'm going to go ahead and add a remote event. And then I'm going to go ahead and rename that to teleport screen. Inside of starter GUI, we want to create our screen GUI. So go ahead and add our screen GUI and then our frame, our little animated frame. So I'm going to rename that to teleport screen GUI. Add a frame and a local script, but for our frame, I want to resize it so that it takes up the whole space. So it's going to be one comma zero, one comma zero. Inside of our local script, we have a few variables. One of them is going to be referencing the remote event that we added earlier, which is teleport screen inside of replicated storage. We also have a variable for our frame, and now we have a function where if the frame is not visible, then it'll turn visible, and then it's going to wait one second, and then the frame will not be visible. All right, we're going to actually create our teleporting parts now. So it's just two simple parts for me. And then I'm gonna make sure to group both of them into a model called teleport parts and then renaming each part to T1 for teleporting run and then T2 for teleporter two. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a script. All right, so we have our variables as usual, which references the remote event and our teleporter parts t1 and t2 and then we always have a debounce inside of our first function we're going to work on the teleport one part first so anytime a player touches this part then the player or the remote event is going to get fired and the screen will you know be visible the animated frame and then um, we'll be teleported to the t2 part and then for our second function, it's the same thing, but instead of teleport one, it's teleport two. And then we'll be teleported back to T1. So we can just go back and forth with these parts if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and test it out inside of our game. And then, yay, it works. Yeah, and if I go back to the red part, the frame should appear and I'm at the yellow part. Pretty cool. As always, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.